hey guys welcome back my name is omoy galuatosin and on the platform today i am going to show you how to change your machine oil from days to days you can see how nice it says watch me i made this video for people that has industrial machine but don't know how to change the oil always make sure that you change the machine oil every three to four months you will need a foam or piece of cloth you will need your screwdriver you will need a container to drain the oil the oil i ended up using a bigger container if i could remember the last time i changed my machine oil it was three to four months ago please don't try this at all at all setting the tools that i'll be using aside the next thing you want to do you want to raise the machine so i'm going to bring the camera closer for you to see what it look like on the inside so raise your machine up like this oh my god this is so dirty i'm going to bring the camera closer for you guys to see you can see the inside of the machine i could see my thread my needles everything inside the basin that this machine had so the next thing you want to do you want to start picking all those things out and drain the oil there's a screw inside that place you can't see it because the oil is covering it so we are going to unscrew it and let me show you the under of the machine let me show you what it looked like on the under i was using this container but i ended up using more than this cup because the oil inside was just so much that is why you should get a bigger container let me show you what it looked like under the machine so when you unscrew that note inside the basin you can see that little opening that's where the oil will be coming out from so make sure you place your container under this or ask someone to place a container close to that hole before you start unscrewing the notes that they use as the stopper now i'm going to place this under the machine like this make sure you have someone that is closer to you a friend or a worker to help you hold it under this uh, machine and then you unscrew every industrial machine has this kind of basin on the inside so locate the nuts and use your screwdriver to unscrew it so that the bad oil will go through the o and into the container that you have provided on the other side of the machine so that's what you see me doing i'm just trying to unscrew it so once i was done you can see that the oil is draining already this i'm taking it slowly now Take your time to unscrew this. And this is what it look on the other end. You can see the oil coming out from that hole. And once I was done, this is what the inside of the machine looked like. It was so dirty. Even when I cleaned it with the foam, I had to go and wash it and leave it overnight before I replace, before I place it back in the machine and add a new oil. And the machine oil that I drained from this sewing machine, 
I kept it. I allow it to settle. Then I transfer it into another container. I did not throw it away. We are going to use it as a machine oil for the manual machine. So when your machine, okay, this is what the knot is looking like. So when your manual machine is as having some kind of friction problem, just add the oil, it will work better. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see how dirty it is looking. And I've changed this oil. The last time I changed the oil, it was three years ago. It was three years ago. And this is what it looked like on the inside. So the next thing you want to do, you want to cut your piece of um, fabric and start cleaning everything. Start cleaning it. I wanted you use the brush. I decided not to use it anymore because I don't want to stain my brush. I started using piece of clothing to clean everything. I got a paper to put the dirt in. So you started cleaning. And by the time I was done, I wasn't satisfied with what how the basin was looking like. So I had to remove it, wash it, and leave it overnight to dry before putting it back inside the machine. Make sure that you throw this away. Next, you want to remove the stopper and remove the basin. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to remove the stopper. I removed everything. And I was trying to remove my machine. This was a whole lot of work. So I had to cry for help. My star came to my rescue. And we, together we removed the stopper. I'm going to watch the stopper. You can see how dirty it looks. You're going to watch the stopper as well. Make sure you watch it very well. So by the time I was done, this is what the basin was looking like. So I'm going to take it to the toilet and do what and wash it. You make sure you wash it and leave it overnight to dry. And everything you move from the machine, please make sure you turn them. So I've washed it. I'm going to leave it to dry. So I'm going to leave it to dry. So this is what it's going to look like at the end of the day. So the next thing you want to do, you want to return this basic back to its original position. And before you do that, make sure you clean everything. Clean your machine very well. I had to wet the clothes a little. Please make sure you clean your machine very, very well. I did this in the night. You can take one day off to clean your machine, take good care of your machine, and make sure don't do what I did by leaving this machine for three years without changing the oil. So clean up. You can see how everything is rusted on the inside because of what I did. The next morning, I decided to reinstall the basin, and this is what it looked like by the time I was done. You can see the stop. I've washed it. You can see how neat it is. It was different from how, how it looked last night. And this is what the basin should be looking like at this point. 
So I'm going to return every damn thing that you remove from this machine. The first thing is the stopper. Make sure you turn the stopper before pouring another oil. So that's what. And make sure while you are tightening, tight. Make sure you tighten it very. You screw it very tight. You screw it very tight because you don't want your oil to be dripping from that oil. I got this oil from Lagos Island Market, so I got two liter. I'm not going to use the whole liter because the machine has a um, description. We have the low side and the high side. So this is what the oil is looking like. Now the next thing you want to do, you want to pour the oil into the machine. I did not use the whole two liter. I was following the um description that the basic has. It has the high and low um line. So I'm going to make sure it gets to the eye line before I stop. So now that it's got to the eye line, I'm going to stop. I'm going to keep the oil for another day when I'm ready to change the machine oil again. So can you see as the eye and low side? You can see how neat the machine is looking like on the inside. Now you are going to close your machine you, i like i said remember to add to return everything you remove from the machine make sure you return everything you remove from the machine and that's how to change your machine oil and i hope you have learned one thing today please follow me give me a thumb up like and share my uh, video and don't forget to follow me on all of our social media platform we have a ready to wear platform more elegante we train to at more fashion academy for inquiries you call 081 017 836 have a nice day and bye